Right, Eve, you've got a little parachute, man. Yeah. Parachute, man. Well, it's for you. That's why we've got it. Let's do this a bit first. One up. <laughs> Daddy has to do that one, love. I do it. Mm. Nice. Daddy will have to do it, sweetie. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bouncy. <laughs> Careful, don't wow. run away. Wow. We have a roof. We have headspace. Whoops. So these are on a swivel base. You just swivel them around and then it allows you to get up to the top bed. But it's a bit fiddly. You've got to put the handbrake down. And then And these bolts just sit in these two holes here, so I've just got to pull it and line it up. Oh, so this is first time ever using an electric hookup. Thought I'd treat us and the family. Um, never used an electric hookup before. Normally just go with regular, normal camping. But I figured now we've got the van and we've got a hookup on it, let's try it. So, so these are the two AC outlets. I've got the USB outlets there, two of them. They work all the time on the leisure battery, as does the wireless charger here. That works pretty much straight away. There you go, that works off the leisure battery. But these AC outlets, they have to work only on electric hookup. They don't work on the leisure battery. I've got a jack or anything for that. So moment of truth. Let's see if it will charge. Did it work? Yes. We have power. It is it is charging. So they work. And we need that because we have got the steriliser here for Oscar's baby bottles. And he gets through the milk at the moment, so we can now use that on the AC outlet. Lovely singing, Eve. It is. Very nice. What are you doing, Eve? I have to put that there. What's it for? I need a blanket. A blanket, okay. Whiskey, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey. What, do you want in there? Sauce You're going to have some of that sauce in a minute with your pasta. Oh, that's really hot. Pasta. Pasta la vista. This is Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver's Bolognese. Tortelloni. Flavour patch free range egg pasta filled with Bolognese sauce. Where did you get that? You keep getting these. Another dummy. Okay. Nice. Cheese. Yeah. Is it nice? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Go all the way this way. 
Good girl. Uh. Uh. Yay! What, what birdie was it? Um, a pe peacock. We just saw some peacocks. Very cool. Were they, what colour were they? Blue. Blue. We're on a farm. Yeah, there's some tractors. We're on a farm campsite that we've come to with family for ages and it's really nice. Great for the kids. Nine. I want to get in the park. You want to go in the park, don't you? It's it's 9.30, it's well past your bedtime. And we've got to go. Oscar's trying to sleep. Emma's tidying up the camper van. It's been carnage, guys. Absolute carnage. Loving it, though. We're loving it, aren't we, Eve? Is it fun? Yes. It's fun. She's past her bedtime. She's going to be overtired. Yeah. <laughs> so the night might be quite interesting. He's really trying to roll, Daddy. Is he? Yeah, he's very happy. He's smiling, Eve. Yeah. Come and look. Is there a smile? Oh, 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 you want, you the... want to see a chicken? Where? Oh, I hear the peacock. Oh, yeah. Can you hear it, Eve? Did you hear it? They make a funny noise, don't they, peacocks? Yeah. You go, wow. <laughs> 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 he's smiling. Um, yeah. Okay. He's a happy chap. Hey, with a beach ball. Okay. Oh, okay. You know it's going to be bedtime. Yeah, it's only nine thirty. We have a grumpy Oscar. Eve is tucking into the cupboards. Cheeky Eve. I get looking. No. I get looking. Okay, you're going to put it back and close it. Show everyone how you do it. See it? How do you close it? Can you reach that one? Push hard. Really hard. Yeah. Good girl. And this one. Eve, where's your bed? There. Up here? Yeah. Who's in bed with you tonight? Daddy. Daddy. And where's Mummy and Oscar sleeping? Here. <laughs> Down here? Yeah. With a Moses basket. Seriously, guys, we must be mad. Nine-week-old baby. Two-and-a-half-year-old. It's mental. Beach ball in the background. But this is what we do for camping, right? This is what it's all about. Start them young. Maybe not this young, but <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. We could be in for a long one. Oh, buddy. My oh, good girl. <laughs> your head, you fit perfectly under there. Next year, you're going to be having to bend your head to get up there. That's, good. That's going to be, yeah, we've got to make the most of you but just being able to walk. Underneath the pop top. Lucky you. This is like a king size bed for you. You're loving these cupboards, aren't you? Yeah, don't touch anything in there, Missy. Why? Because that's all the important stuff. Are you down? <laughs> Hello down there. I'm going down. This is our bed set up on the top floor. Me and Eve are sleeping up here. This is Eve's duvet that she has requested. Dinosaur duvet. And I am using this duvelet, it's called. The guys over at Duvelet sent me this after, after I asked my subscribers what to use, what would be the best setup to use for camping in the camper van. And it's essentially a duvet connected to a memory foam little mattress. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to tr testing that out tonight and seeing how it goes. But obviously the quality of my film is not great. But, yeah, this is hopefully going to get good use. Daddy? Mm-hmm. What goose? Stop you falling in. Falling down there. Yeah. Right. Can't pump my head. Yeah, you'll bump your head and you'll fall down there. Is it sunny? Um, yes. It's a sun cream. You need sun cream? Is that wet? It's wet, yeah, it will be, love. It's called condensation. The sun's out. The sun is out. Oh. 
turpy-turpy. Underneath you. <laughs> this is worrying because it's true. I would put him in the middle if you can, because the sun today. Did it reach before that strap? Yeah, remember we decided it would. My daddy got a booby. Just has got it on his hand, so you've obviously cut yourself a little while ago. Hey. Afternoon. We are back home after about an hour and 15 minute drive. What a trip, absolute carnage. Had about, I don't know, maybe five or four hours of broken sleep throughout the night. But the kids are really good. Um, Oscar was just a little bit unsettled. You know, he's only eight or nine weeks old, I can't remember, 10 weeks maybe. <laughs> Even I forget. But he was a bit unsettled. Um, and Eve just woke up a few times because she could hear him. So. It is, it is what it is. Um, we knew it was going to be like that. We were fully prepared for it to be like that. And actually, it turned out better than what we expected it would be. We were expecting it to be a lot harder than that. So it's nice to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, thankfully, Oscar is normally a really good sleeper and he sleeps through the night pretty much. So maybe he was on an off day. <laughs> we're kind of hoping so. Um, but yeah, we came back home. I've just unloaded, unpacked everything, uh, bar a few things. And um, yeah, I've got a big clean up job now to clean the van. It's, it's really messy. Kids, there's, I mean, look, where is it? We've got sticker club down here. I think there's more sticker stuff. Somewhere over there, yeah, we've got, we've got stickers galore. Uh, so I've got to <laughs> find those or I might leave them for a bit of character. Yeah, just, just marks everywhere. Fingerprints of baby hands. That's what it's all about, camping with kids. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Very pleased with the van and how it, everything worked. Uh, I'm really getting familiar with it now. And I know in my head from, especially with camping with little ones, of little adjustments that I want to make. Uh, and I spoke to Em, my wife, and she gave me some good advice and tips on things we should do in here. Little ad modifications we should add just to help us out a bit. So um, I'll, I'll try and update you guys on the channel as and when I do them. I've got a few mods already made that I'll um I'll do soon but yeah that was the first night camping with the family in the camper van um yeah it's good fun really enjoyed it uh oh this performs really well by the way this is the duvalet it's basically uh I'm not gonna fully like review it just yet because I want to use it a bit more but it's basically a duvet and a memory foam mattress in one attached together and you can attach two of these together to make it a double duvet but I was really impressed with it and I, I the reason I went for it and got in touch with them was because so many of you said about this setup for camper vans is one of the best you, sort of you can get the most comfortable and when it comes to family camping I want them to be as comfortable as comfortable as possible really so um, M slept in it for the first time yesterday Ben in mind she gave birth just two or just over two months ago and she was really pleased with it she said it was really comfortable so success there anyway time to pack up time to tidy up this is going to take me a few hours but to all of you who watch this i appreciate it thank you very much if you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button uh, if you're interested in the general van videos that i'm doing then check out there'll be a link either up here or in the description below to my van camping playlist but remember this is live for mike so there's going to be all sorts of different stuff coming on here soon uh, but I do appreciate you watching it. And um, yeah, if you want to watch the last video I did on the channel, which is where I went to Camper King, who are the guys who uh, fitted out the van, and you can get a good insight into what I've got inside this van. Uh, I'll put a link to that one in the description as well. Yeah, Whew. 
time to get some sleep after clearing this all up. Thank you for watching. I know I don't really open up my family to you guys, certainly not on my main channel as much. Uh, well, I barely ever have, I think, over the years. So this is all new to me, opening up my personal life. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this type of thing. It's a bit more of the normal side of me as opposed to the kind of more serious bushcraft, uh, you know, survival type side of me and the main channel. So thank you to everyone who came over from that channel to watch me on here. And I hope you enjoyed the future content. Oh, we've got another camping trip coming up in two weeks' time, actually, in this, but with, that's with Em's family, so I don't know if I'm going to film that. I might just actually relax, because that's one more thing I want to say. It is really hard to film with two young children. Very, very difficult. I'm not really used to it, and it's really hard, because half the time, one's crying, or the other one's having a tantrum, or you've got to go get some milk, or they need food, or changing, and or they set the tripod up, they then pull the tripod over. It's really difficult, but it's all good fun. So thank you, guys. Take care. And I'll see you in the next episode.